Hi, my name is Jennifer Mullins of Mullins Tutoring Incorporated. Today I'm going to do an ASVAB exam review question. If one third of an office staff is on vacation and one fourth of those not on vacation are out sick, what fraction of the staff is in the office? So whenever I do a word problem, the first thing I want to do is look at the question that's being asked and make sure that I answer it. So here they want to know what fraction of the staff is in the office. So let's look at the information they've given us in this problem. One third of the office staff is on vacation. So what I want to figure out is what fraction of the staff is still there. Since the, I have the fraction one third, I'm going to take three thirds, which stands for the whole office, and subtract the one third that's on vacation. So three thirds from one third gives me two thirds because whenever we're subtracting fractions, we have to have the same denominator and we only subtract the numerator. Now I'm going to look at the second part of this. One fourth of those not on vacation are out sick. So once again, I'm going to use that denominator of four and do four fourths, which is the whole amount that's still in the office and subtract the one-fourth that are out sick. And that leaves, leaves me with three-fourths. So now that I have this information, I'm going to decide what type of operation. In the problem, I see the word of, and of tells me that I'm going to multiply. So I'm going to multiply two-thirds times three-fourths. When I have the multiplication sign in the middle, I multiply straight across. So I'm going to say two times three equals six, and three times four equals 12. On the ASVAB exam, they will want you to simplify. So I want to look for the common factor for six and 12. Well, the greatest common factor for both of these numbers is six. So I'm going to divide 6 into 6, which would give me 1. And 12 divided by 6 is 2. So 1 half of the office staff is in the office. Now, one other way that I can solve this is to do cross cancellation before I do the multiplication. So I'm still going to be using these fractions. So I'd have 2 thirds. times three-fourths. When I do cross-cancellation, I look across to see common factors. So let's start with the two and the four. Two and four have the common factor of two. So I'm going to divide them both two by two, which is one, and two into four, which is two. Then I'm going to go the other way and I'm going to look at 3 and 3. Well, 3 is the common factor for both of these. So 3 goes into 3 one time. 3 goes into 3 one time. Now I've simplified this fraction. So now the only thing left to do is to do the multiplication. Once again, we're going to multiply straight across. So 1 times 1 is 1. And 2 times 1 is 2. So whether I do it straight across and reduce after or do cross cancellation, I still come up with one half. So one half of the office staff is in the office. Thank you for viewing this video. If you need more assistance, please feel free to check out my website at mullinstutoring.net.